Then what were your favorite scenes to shoot? Yeah, I loved the adrenaline of doing, of being on a stationary motorbike with rain lashing in my face in a studio with someone dressed in like a green alien suit taking my <laughs> bike behind me. Never been happier. I didn't know that that was a thing. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> Who is this man? I'm her godfather. related. Get back. What was it like when you found out that you were joining the Indiana Jones movie that was going to, you know, send off this iconic character and actor at the same time? Surreal, daunting, <laughs> exciting. I was just so excited by the script. The script was just so brave in how it, it tackles time and Indy's age. I just thought it was such a cool way to complete his story and just a real honor to be part of such a huge franchise. Yeah, it was definitely mm -hmm. thrilling. Like you said, like the script really honors what this franchise has been and where it needed to end. And, and to be part of that felt really special. Now, Phoebe, every single thing that you've written, coming from a really big Fleabag fan here, um, is an absolute <coughs> masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, did you have any input on the writing of Helena or what were parts of her that were yours? Um. I can't really claim anything in particular because she leapt off the page to me when I read her and there's that, there's such a, it's such a gift when you read a script and the character makes sense to you and you also feel like, oh, I can do this. Like, I know for some reason I feel connected to this person and that is, a, that's about like casting something right and the best gift you can give an actor is to cast them with something that feels like there's a resonance and I resonated with her. Um, and so whatever came out of like me and Helena doing this together um, really started there. I spoke to Jim a lot along the way and uh, you know, I, I really wanted to keep her, you know, upbeat and joyful in a kind of, she's incredibly smart, but I wanted her kind of, mm -hmm. her, her, her lack of awareness of like consequences. She's never really suffered mm -hmm. proper, proper consequences. And even the ones she has, like she was in jail for a couple of years, she kind of was like, hey, it was jail. There's something <laughs> about her that is not completely connected to real life and she's in denial. And, and I think that that was like part of the journey that eventually she's faced with someone she loves and she might lose them. And suddenly everything becomes very real to her. So I really wanted to keep that kind of like almost sort of, almost sort of delusional. Everything's going to be fine. Um, yeah. Um, sort of energy that she had. Yeah, like just super positive. Yeah, I love that. And I really didn't want to like call him like, I didn't want her to have to call him like an old guy or like use any of those kinds mm. of insults with him. And that was a debate that um, Jim and I had the whole time. So I was like, I would, she, she doesn't see people in that way. She's got a, a, a sidekick who's 14 and she's going mm. on an adventure with someone who's in his late seventies. I just don't think she sees people in that, in that way. So she's just sort of like, if you're useful to me, we'll go. If you're not, Sorry, yeah, see you Nothing. later. <laughs> now, Shanette, you play Agent Mason in this movie. What it is about her that pulled you into the role? I, I think it was it was cool to to kind of be in a uh, authoritative position, to kind of um, be thrusted into a situation where you suddenly need to to be a leader and then take the helm of. But I also love the idea of it not being just a perfectly. Um, Match, you know, she lives, she is a bit like off kilter. She is a little bit trying to figure things out in the moment, and that struggle and that tension is very fun to play, you know. Both of you got to rough up like Harrison Ford a little bit in the movie. What was it like working with him in certain action scenes? Because me personally, like, I would be scared to put a finger on him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you actually probably had to. I didn't. I mean, I interrogated. I band, had a yeah. verbal, you know, lashing, but not necessarily a, a more of a physical thing. Um, but he can handle it. He can definitely handle it. He's definitely in shape, more in shape than many of us are at, you know, half his age. But, um, and I'm not half his age, I'm younger than that. But <laughs> um, <laughs> he definitely held his own. Uh, it was actually incredible to watch him kind of do his own stunts a little bit and some of the fight scenes, um, be handcuffed and then still be able to get up, you know, without putting any bracing on anyone. It just really nimble. Then what were your favorite scenes to shoot? The action scenes, anything with action in it, just action, action. I just want to do action forever. <laughs> yeah, I loved the adrenaline of doing, of being on a stationary motorbike with rain lashing in my face in a studio with 
someone dressed in like a green alien suit taking my <laughs> bike behind me. Never been happier. I didn't know that that was a thing. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> the, like the alien suit, like green, so he's dressed in green screen and he's got to like shake the bike so he's like this. And then I'm just going to it on there. No, God, it was just so much fun. Now, Helena and Indy are very different from each other, but they sort of work well together despite, you know, the years of separation. How did you and Harrison Ford um, come up and build that chemistry? I think when you know the character you're playing, it affords you a kind of um, a confidence to go in with that when you, in the first place. Mm-hmm. So when I, the door first opened and they were like, you're about to meet Harrison Ford. <laughs> I was like, okay, and the door opened. You know, I came in knowing I have to, I have such deep respect for this man and but I also have to be able to meet him on a level for this to work because they have to be a match from each other. So I went in with that kind of nerves and I was like, how do I, there's a risk that I could come in and be like <laughs> too familiar or something. But luckily I walked in and he just went, hey, from the first moment I saw him and he was so warm and so cool and so interested in my thoughts and my take on everything. And we just got talking immediately like old friends. I felt like I'd known him for like 2000 years. It was really, really lovely at kind of meeting of. So that was lovely. And, you know, he checks in all the time, you know, he's like, what do you guys think? And that makes a big difference. And whenever I'd be like talking about let's, why don't we like rehearse this little moment that I think would be quite fun. He's like, no, we've already got it. Like save it for the, when the camera's on <laughs> kind of thing. So yeah, it was, it's kind of organic, but also you do, I, th- I, I don't know, the fact that we were playing those characters. What about you, Shona? What was it like meeting and working for and Fort for the first time? Oh, it was really great. Um, and just, he's just a human, which is great to kind of like dispel any fear about someone, you know, of his caliber putting on airs or being a little bit of a, I don't know, a, a diva in some sense. Um, my upbringing, I was like, you know, Mr. Ford, and he just immediately was like, do not call me Mr. Ford. It's Harrison, <laughs> you know, like, and that felt, you know, really lovely like we're you know we're simpatico it's it's just we're the same and in a lot of ways we're both actors um and that was that was really lovely now i know this movie deals with time traveling a little bit um if you guys could go back to any point in time in history to experience what would it be and why <laughs> there is there was apparently a meeting between king herod and cleopatra that uh, no one really knows what happens happened in that meeting, but she famously didn't manage to seduce him in a way that she managed to seduce many other um, political men. And I want to be a fly on that wall <laughs> in that meeting. I think I just I would just want to be back in um, 1920s Harlem Harlem Renaissance. Um, mm-hmm. All of the the art and literature and and energy of that time period in that that area of our of my city I'm from New York um, would have been really really lovely 